We applaud the move by Wolfsburg Group to include fraud in AML program questionnaire requirements. I'm Chris Caruana, and this is your Feeds Eye Weekly Update. I'm here in sunny Sao Paulo, Brazil, but across the Atlantic Ocean, the Wolfsburg Group released an updated version of its correspondent banking due diligence questionnaire. The questionnaire is relied upon by institutions and utilized to address FATF Recommendation 13 around correspondent banking risk. There were a number of notable enhancements, or specifically, it talked about enhancements to higher risk customers, transaction monitoring, whistleblower policies, and one item that's near and dear to every financial crime fighter's heart, data quality management. Because as we know, having strong data quality management upstream has a tremendous impact to the financial crime fight downstream that the analysts have to deal with on a day-to-day basis. But there is one significant update I want to call out, and that's fraud. It's a brand new section within the CBDDQ, section 14. And yes, there are 130 plus questions on this questionnaire. But the fraud section, while only containing four impactful high value items. First, firms should have dedicated policies around fraud prevention and detection capabilities. Those prevention and detection capabilities should be real time. There should be a dedicated team focusing solely on fraud prevention. Wolfsburg also calls out the inclusion of IP addresses, device addresses, and geolocation needs. Here at Feedside, we go a step further with our digital trust product to ensure behavioral biometric capabilities are also included in that. We'd like to see future versions of the questionnaire specifically call out behavioral biometric capabilities. One additional comment, Wolfsburg calls out non-transaction activities. We refer to those as non-monetary activities, and we've seen them have as much as a 15% uplift in fraud detection rate. As the financial crime industry continues its glacial pace towards the convergence of fraud and AML, we applaud the move by Wolfsburg Group to include fraud in AML program questionnaire requirements. As we know, both are risk-based and both are essential in the fight against financial crime. The industry should do more in converging these two elements, particularly on the data and the information sharing side, but we applaud the move nonetheless. And remember, as with any due diligence questionnaire, this should be focused on your company's risk tolerance and risk appetite. It should not be a one-size-fits-all approach. As a former compliance officer, I can tell you I will greatly appreciate if you tailor this questionnaire to your organization's needs and the kind of business that we do together. Thank you for watching. I'm Chris Caruana, and this has been your Feeds Eye Weekly Update.